He has a rotator cuff tear, okay, and he's how, how long have you had it for? About eight years, almost ten years, eight to ten years. Eight to ten years, and you can't bench press or anything like that? No. Now, he's done a lot of rotator cuff exercise, general PT, knee over toes, where he's going like this. What we're going to show you today is that he got really strong on those exercises, but he actually didn't strengthen up his infraspinatus, okay? And one of the reasons is, there's actually two reasons. One is because it's the wrong exercise that he's doing to actually strengthen the infraspinatus. And the other thing is, is because you have to strengthen three different muscles in the shoulder first, get those strong, and then you can go in and you can start doing infraspinatus exercises. So when I test a client, it really comes down to these four muscles and four exercises. If any of those are off, what I've seen is that's what causes the shoulder pain. So let's go into these now. Keep in mind that we do offer one-on-one -on -one private sessions with me through video call, and you can get great results doing through video call. You don't have to see me in person in order to get results. So the first exercise, we're trying to develop this piece here of the reared up, this back cap edge right here, okay, called the thumb down raise. The second exercise, what we're trying to develop is, you see this little ridge right here? Here's my armpit, right above that, that little ridge there, that's, the, I call it the lower section of the rear delt. That's what we're trying to develop with this exercise. So the first exercise is more here, and this exercise is here. The third exercise here, you see that little triangle behind the armpit? That's your Terry's Major. That's what we're trying to develop on this exercise here. And now we're gonna show you the fourth exercise. We're gonna go into the rotator cuff infraspinatus. So you see him doing this exercise here. This was one of the ones that he really got good at. Okay, knee over toe exercise. And he's doing 15 pounds. He looks really strong on it. And he also did like the band stuff where you go like this with the PT. And now I'm gonna have him talk to you about this. So here's 15. Where do you feel that when you're doing the exercise? When I do this, I feel it mostly Right into, the, right into right. the front of the shoulder. So guess what? That means he's not working the infraspinatus. He's working, he's stabilizing using the front of his shoulder, right. and he's not actually working the muscle back here that we're gonna get into. I'm gonna show you exactly where you need to feel this exercise, but this is the issue. So he's just going down, he's stretching the hell out of it, and he's not even strengthening his infraspinatus at all because he's not feeling the infraspinatus. How can you strengthen a muscle that you don't feel? That's the whole point. So he could probably do 20 pounds on this, go all the way down, and guess what it did for his shoulder? Zero. <laughs> Correct? Right. He did this for months. Did absolutely nothing. Right. Now, tell him about the tracking. It did kind of make it feel smoother and stuff like the, that, right? The only thing that I noticed a big uh, difference was maybe the traction and the movement and the mobility was a little smoother. Maybe I didn't have as lo enough as lot of uh, popcorn, uh, popcorn or crackling going on. But, but it, didn't it, never, take the, it didn't take no, the injury away. No. So I'm still, I still have the weakness there, never fixed the weakness at all. So now we're going to go in, I'm going to show you how weak he is actually in his infraspinatus. We're going to go into that now. So when he's doing this exercise, I like just locating, here's the armpit, right behind the armpit. This is where he wants to feel this. This is about a two inch thick pad here, okay, that he's putting this, his elbow on. So we're going to put his elbow right in the center line of his hip. We're gonna keep, we don't want this hand to go outside the elbow, we want it just slightly inside. It's basically at 90 degrees, okay, a little bit inside 90. And this, if he goes up too high, where do you start feeling it? In the front? In the front. In the right. front. So literally to connect to that muscle, he has to go from here to here. If he goes too low, what happens? More into the front? Yeah. More I'm into the front. It. So he, his starting point with this is from here to here. And now he's on this the whole time. And is this get pretty challenging when you get to 10? And he's on fire. It's only four pounds. <laughs> now what we're trying to do is, and how I know he's ready for the next step of this exercise, is he can get to 45 degrees, feel it in the back, in that proper shoulder, get to 45 degrees here, and he can do that with five pounds. Once he can do that and only feel it in the back, then he's ready for the next stage. He's not ready to move on to this exercise, but we're gonna show you just how hard this is to do just with one pound, okay? He's gotta get to five pounds with the pad to get into this position. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the elbow. Here's the center line of the hip. 
we're going to move it in front of the hip bone, okay? This hand, we're going to bend it inside a little bit. Do not let the hand get above the bottom of the shoulder edge here. It's going to stay in the bicep area here. And now, he's just, I should be able to fit two fingers under here. Keep that. So he's not touching his side. And now down and up and rotate. Yes. Stay lower. Don't come off my fingers. So he's got a little tiny gap in between. And it's just going to start lighting it up. <laughs> so he's only at five reps. Six. Hmm. And you're feeling all in the back? Oh, yeah. So he's only at one pound. He's got to master this with five or six pounds. And that's going to be very hard to do. Oh, Good. yeah. Stay inside. So when we're on the ground in that pad or the, the other one that I showed you in this position on our side, we're going to get more behind the armpit because we're involving the Terry's minor that hooks down below with the infraspinatus. You're getting Terry's minor and infraspinatus. This exercise here is going to be, I'd just say, call it upper infraspinatus, no Terry's minor. Okay, this is going to really focus up high. What this does is it's going to allow you to get your arm back up nice and high on this position. As this gets stronger, your stretching ability will improve back here in your range of motion. Okay, so this is kind of the final stage of the exercise. So we're going to go into that now. So go ahead, into it. So the key is, is my his triceps not hitting? He's going to have his elbow just slightly below the shoulder here. Okay, right here couple inches below right there that's good he's gonna have like 10 20 percent elbow pressure the whole time and then he's gonna come down where he feels a little gentle stretch here and then he comes back up and then he feels the back of the shoulder working there back down as long as he feels the back of the shoulder the infraspinatus on the way up you know that's all that matters. if he gets a little stretch on the way down I'm, I'm fine with that the problem is, is when you don't feel the infraspinatus working at all. And again, this isn't that valuable for him right now. I want to build up, because he'd be able to handle five or six pounds with this right now, if I built more of his teres minor and infraspinatus on his side and got him up to five or six pounds with that other exercise. <laughs>